So I had a beautiful day. Um, I had to go into the city. I was meeting with a collaborator, actress, performer, singer, who we were working on a project together that somebody dropped the ball on. So we we talked about other stuff we could do without a uh, rhymes with hiss, might, bail. Um, and uh, I actually had the pleasure of getting picked for a thing for dance because I'm an interdisciplinary person and I love choreography. Um, so there was this cross-disciplinary um, nerd event networking mixer thing where choreographers were paired with artists. I'm sorry, scientists. It was nice to get a break from artists. I really thrive in this space because... Um, I just like speaking in a different language. I like the less drama, et cetera, et cetera, because you deal with a lot of big personalities in theater. And um, it's nice to get a break um, and nerd out with people and talk about neurons and atoms and black holes. This was the fit. The bathroom was intense. Uh, and there were a lot of nerds there. I was talking about my work. I was asking a lot of questions. The first scientist I met was somebody who I kind of stalked on the internet already. Um, The spread was cute. Um, And then we had some beverages, beverages, and um, I had like almost a whole bottle of wine to myself. Anyway, I don't have a problem. Um, so then I made sure none of the food went to waste because I hate when that happens, but I was so refreshed and invigorated and I really, 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 really liked the spot that we were at, had that like speakeasy room and everybody was really nice. It's so weird. There was no hazing. There was no bullying. Okay. So I made it. That was amazing. Thank you, y'all, for making me feel comfortable and safe-ish. And all of the things. I love nerds, and we're all academic nerds, even when we're doing the arts. I met somebody who I really want to work with, and I'm really happy that I went. And I feel very, really honored and privileged to have been a part of this event. And it didn't feel like theater at all, where... I haven't written anything new since, like, for months. Uh, I'll, I'll, let me get home first before I start ranting about what happened. Um, but my initial response is, I love dance and I love interdisciplinary work theater people you're fucking crazy and you need to get your shit together because nobody cares about your fucking desire to create esoteric methods of capitalistic survival that depend on white supremacy bye love you so besides the wine drunkenness of it all um i i think i'm going to kind of over explain that like a lot of me constantly filming has to do with movement and gesture work i had an emergency cigarette i got a lucy because because of the wine um but uh you'll see at the end of this video i've been doing a project that i started in 20 oh it was a long time ago in which i started examining the uh oppressive effects and f affects uh that subway environments have on the body and i work with a photographer and a dancer and use these exaggerated movements and gestures to kind of turn into a movement lexicon so that came up during this event a lot when people were asking for examples of my work um this see this is kind of like a lot of photos that I've taken on the subway, part of this ongoing project of people and how their body posture is on the subway, and then turning that into like movement composition. This is a project I did with a photographer. We studied movement and exaggerated gestures in the subway. So yeah, that's where we're going so far with this.